nervous about putting coffee in it because uh, because it tastes so good. The Iron Brewer competition is something I started about four years ago at the Iron Hill in Westchester, where I was working at the time. Every year we make a beer that's about 10% alcohol, golden, and very hoppy. Uh, this beer uses 100% Pilsner malt, so it's a fairly neutral uh, base beer. Uh, the thing about this beer is that it's so high in alcohol that in order to get the gravity that we want, we actually have to waste quite a bit of sugar. We make two very strong mashes, combine them into one boil, and what that means is at the end of uh, getting everything in the kettle, there's still quite a bit of sugar left over in the mash tun. And normally we just dump that sugar down the drain. It seemed like a pretty big waste. So there was one year when I just invited homebrewers to come in with five gallon pails, take what we call the second runnings uh, of, the, of the work and bring it home and make beer out of it. Uh, we got in home, into home brewing by uh, Scott one day came up to me and said, uh, Jim, I was thinking about brewing some beer, buying a kit. And I said, hey, I'm with you. Let's try it. And we uh, right got in my kitchen, it, yeah. right in his kitchen, and we got into it, and it, it tasted all right. I think the fir very first batch we ever made was what Crick Mud. Yeah, that's what we called <laughs> it. We called it that batch. They all came back with pretty different stuff. You know, did had different hops, used different yeast. Some of them added specialty malts. And when I saw uh, how many different styles that they came up with out of that one base beer, I saw the opportunity to do something fun with it. So we started the Iron Brewer competition. It's basically take home five gallons of a golden, you know, medium to high gravity wort, uh, do what you want with it and, and see what comes back. Uh, it's named the Iron Brewer for one obvious reason, that we're Iron Hill, but also it's kind of in tune with the Iron Chef idea. With the Iron Chef, they tell you these are the ingredients you have to work with. Everybody starts with the same thing and comes up with something different. So it's kind of what we've done with the Iron Brewer Beer Brewing Competition. We all picked up a five gallon bucket or multiple get by gallons of, uh, of, the, of the wort and you know we all decided to, to make a brew out of that with uh, you know just the materials that we had at hand and you know we competed with the other people part of the uh, either part of the club or people that were outside of the club and uh, we did three different batches. One of them was called uh, Good Luck Walking and I think that was the best one that we made. Uh, it was an ale and it came out really good. Uh, the prize for the Iron Brewer competition is that whatever beer you win the contest with, you get to brew that recipe in our brewery. Uh, take home a keg of it, name it, etc. Um, Scott and Jim actually won with an American Pale Ale, which just so happens to be one of our five house beers. So we thought it would be a little bit weird to have two of uh, the same styles on tap. Uh, their beer was actually pretty close to our Ironbound Ale. So the Make sure that we gave our customers the diversity they expect here. I asked them if they wouldn't mind doing something else other than an American Pale Ale. So I asked them if there was anything else they brewed recently that they were proud of and they'd be excited about doing in our brewery. And they said a coffee stout. We, we kind of like the same kind of beers. I mean, I'll, I'll experiment. I like a lot of Belgian beers. I like stouts. I'm a big Guinness fan. So making something that kind of flavor and consistency is nice. With the exception of the big stouts, like the Russian Imperial Stouts, most stouts are not particularly complex beers. They're fairly sessionable, um, and they've got a very assertive roast to them, kind of a sharp roast uh, going on. They're usually moderate alcohol content, um, you know, light to medium in body, believe it or not, and fairly dry, not a whole lot of residual sweetness or, or a ton of extra body. So uh, a coffee stout, of course, is when you incorporate coffee into that. And I think uh, part of what's probably important is to maybe cut back a little bit on the roast of the base beer so that there's room for the roastiness of the coffee so you're not just overwhelming people with, uh, with bitterness and, and roast. Brewing on a commercial scale uh, is uh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the steps and, and, and the concepts is, is all the same. It, it's just the you're just dealing with a lot larger volume, but the um, the uh, Chris was just a little bit more exact. A lot of number taken, a lot of uh, stuff like that, like times, and mm -hmm. they were like, you know, every step was you know put down of what we did and what time and you know at what point. And I think as a home brewer, we kind of just sit back and wing it a little bit. And, and, it come, and I think it comes down to the tools that you use to make beer and when you're dealing with a larger scale and you have better tools at hand, better mechanics, better t you know, uh, tubing and pumps and, and it, it, you know, it almost becomes easier even though it's a larger scale 
uh, than the home brewer because we're trying to do things manually. And I think a lot of the automation that's made by uh, the big brewers makes a big difference. And it, and it gives you information that says, hey, you know what? If we had a pump like that, we could do a lot better than what we're doing now. So. Well, what you should do is maybe take a little bit, put it to the side as no, no coffee, and then we'll try it with the coffee. Regular and decaf? Yeah. Based on what the base beer tastes like, uh, I'm kind of excited about where this beer is going because the beer itself is a little bit sweeter than you would normally find a lot of stouts. Uh, it's fairly dry and it's not super roasty. So I think once we add the coffee, it's going to uh, beef it up a little bit. It's going to make it quite a bit more roasty and add a little bit of bitterness and acidity to the beer. We brewed air again without a doubt. Without a doubt. It was a lot of fun. We uh, picked up a lot of neat ideas, though, definitely. There's right. a couple things with our rig that when we go and go, you know, with the the pump and stuff like that, we're going to implement a couple ideas that we, we had picked up that day. Mm -hmm.